everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. So today I'm going to be working on a 16 inch hexagon canvas and I'm going to be doing a cloud effect pour. Before I get to the pour though, I am going to show you how I mix my um, cloud effect mix. And this is a little bit more of a simple recipe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and move a couple things around, get my gloves on, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, so I've got my supplies here that I'm going to use today, and I'm just going to do an easier, a, a little bit of an easier recipe than uh, my last one. The last one I used a Vallejo Pearl um, Medium, uh, and I'll link that one uh, down below. I know sometimes the Vallejo is a little bit hard to get, so that's why I'm going to do this a little bit more simple recipe for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic. And as you can see, I've got a variety of my stir sticks here. And these are um, honeycomb. You can see the cool uh, design there, the honeycomb design. And then I've got some solid ones here. They're 8, in, eight inch and 6 inch. And I'm just going to, I'm using a smaller cup, so I'm just going to use the smaller um, six inch stir stick. And I've got my one tablespoon uh, measuring spoon here. And I'm just going to squeeze in one tablespoon. Oops. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's, you know, you don't have to try to scrape all of it as much as you can. And then I've got my bare satin enamel paint and primer in one. And this is the ultra pure white. So I buy it by the gallon jug. So that was like, um, that's why I put it in a different bottle. That little one was the very first one I bought uh, years ago to experiment with. And since it worked so well, I bought the gallon so that's why I put it in there it's easier to pour out of that way so all right so I've got one tablespoon of each so far give that a little bit of a mix um, I don't know why I did that <laughs> I usually go two tablespoons so we're gonna put another tablespoon of the artist loft all right, so, so far we've got two tablespoons of the Artist Loft and one tablespoon of the Bare Satin Enamel. Now, if you can't get the Bare Satin Enamel, you can also use the Deco Art Satin Enamel. I like the Bare. I get really, really good results with it. It's cheaper, um, so that's, that's the reason years ago I... Um, found this recipe. All right, so now I've got my pouring medium, which my pouring medium is Liquitex pouring medium, uh, Floetrol water, and I think um, I do have Golden GAC 800 in here. Now you can use Floetrol and water only if you would like. Um, you, there's other pouring mediums that you can use as well. It doesn't have to be this exact one. So, um, you can substitute. It's easy substitution there. All right, so now I've got two tablespoons of pouring medium. And let's see if I can maybe get a little bit more of that out of there. And then just give it a good mix here. And these honeycomb stir sticks are really, really amazing, um, especially when you're using, like, because this paint is, is more... Um, of a uh, medium consistency, I guess. When you have like a heavier bodied paint, these work so well. They sometimes when you mix up the paint, you'll get like chunky stuff when you're mixing. These just mix that up so beautifully. All right, so now what I do is I always keep a cup of water nearby and then I just throw that in there. And then when I'm done, then I can go ahead and clean up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my solid. And then you can see the consistency there 
of the um, Cloud Effect Mix. It just comes right off the stick in, I mean, it's like a, a quick mound, and then it disappears pretty quickly. All right, so recapping, that is two parts. Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Let me get the other jug. One part bare satin enamel. And then two parts of your pouring medium. Now, if you're going to use, say, Floetrol only, you will have to use some water um, because the Floetrol is a little bit thicker. And I love Liquitex or even Golden Pouring Medium just because. I think sometimes that, um, well, not sometimes, usually, <laughs> the Floetrol tends to dull your paint colors. Liquitex does not do that. Um, either does Golden, you know, some of the other pouring mediums as well. Uh, they don't dull your colors. Now, I know you can always, um, when, you, when you varnish it, it'll bring those colors back. Uh, but just not, it just doesn't seem the same to me. That's why in my pouring medium, I use more Liquitex than I do Floetrol. So that's just me. All right, so I've got my canvas back and now I'm not really gonna use this new one that I mixed up because there's air bubbles. I'm gonna use my previous one um, because I don't want all those um, air bubbles. So what I usually do in my cups is I'll have um, some Glad Press and Seal, and then I just put that right over the top, and you can save it for later. Now, probably what I'll do is just put it back in, you know, in my in my bottle there. But um, this is what I like to do to store some of my extra paints that I don't use all the time. All right, so got my canvas back, and today I'm going to be using a um, 10 ounce spouted cup. You've probably seen me use this cup. A bunch of times it is really my favorite uh, cup to use um, out of all my cups I think so um, if you're you know curious about all of these all my 3d printed cups um, I have a bunch of different sizes now these ones I'd love to hear if you guys are interested in these I have not made them available in my shop yet um, but they're perfect for smaller amounts of paint especially if you're doing like Dutch pours or um, like a swipe and you just want a little bit down the center. These work really, really great. They're like one ounce, I think. Um, they work great. So let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in those um, sizes. I'll get those in my Etsy shop. And the link to that is in my description um, below. All right, so now we're gonna get to the colors. And the first color that I'm gonna be using, I love this blue. It is from Soho and it is mineral blue. It's really, really pretty. And then this color here is a couple that I mixed together. I've got the Deco Art um, Dazzling Metallics Peacock, Peacock Pearl, which is it's gorgeous. And then I just toned it down just a little with the um, uh, Fine Touch Thalo Turquoise. And then, of course, my Cloud Effect Mix. And then this one here is really really pretty I haven't used it in a while it's Barry from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics and let's see the yellow I mixed a couple together uh, the fine touch yellow medium with golden Hansa yellow opaque and this one is a combination of colors one of my recent videos I did glow in the dark paint um, and I used a black light on it it looks super cool but I had a bunch of paint underneath and I kind of, I just scooped that up and then I mixed it all together. It looks really, really pretty. It's like a darker aqua color. I don't know. I'm going to use that up and um, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it'll have any of the, the glow in the dark um, properties since it's mixed with, um, you know, some other colors in there. But that might be interesting to uh, see. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my caps off here and get started. I love Cloud Effect Pours. If you guys um, have watched my videos before, longtime subscribers, you probably know <laughs> that I love, love, love a good Cloud Effect Pour. 
And um, if you're new to my channel and don't know, I've got many cloud effect videos that I've done. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time. I super, super appreciate it. So just going to start here with the mineral blue in the bottom. And the reason that I'm starting on the spout side is that's the way I'm going to pour out. So that's why I do that. It could be, you know, it's just a thing, I guess. <laughs> Everybody has their way of, of doing things. So here we go with the cloud mix. I'm not going to put too much because sometimes I get carried away <laughs> just because I love the cloudy look. So I'm not going to get too carried away with that. And this yellow is super, super pretty. I'm hoping that I don't lose the yellow because I sometimes have a tendency of losing my yellow. So we will definitely see. That is really pretty color here. Um, let's see, we'll go back to the blue. I'm just going to kind of rotate through, you know, all of the colors again. I'm not sure if I'm going to add. I'll probably add a little bit more cloud effect, maybe one more time. Kind of trying to use up some of these colors that I've had <laughs> sitting around for a while. That's why I love to use the Glad Press and Seal um, because I don't always. Oh, that's probably more than I wanted. Darn it! Um, I have a bunch of you know these bottles, but sometimes I I have other colors and that I don't keep in the bottles. So the Glad Press and Seal really does help to um, keep those paints in your cups until you get to finish using them. So, because I already have a bunch, you know, I have a bunch of these bottles and uh, uh, I don't really need any more. <laughs> I have so many colors already. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to this. I think I'm going to leave out the cloud mix in my next round. And this one's empty. Let's see here. Is that just... Nope, nothing left. Nothing left in there. Uh, okay, so we'll just go with the berry. We'll skip that one. And we'll go with the berry. And, and we'll try to get rid of this yellow. I'm just going to dump the rest of it in. We'll see what happens. Probably, I'm hoping to get maybe some orange and green. And this may... Um, I'm not sure this may cause a little bit of an issue, not really an issue, but sometimes, you know, depending on the colors that are touching each other, you know, it has a possibility of muddying, but we're crossing my fingers here that there's going to be none of that. All right. So I'm going to add just a touch more of the cloud mix, probably a little more than I needed there. Again, I tend to get, um, slightly carried away. And we'll top it off with that blue. I'm almost out of this. I'm going to have to make some more. Oh, all of these paints, I guess I forgot to tell you guys, all of these paints that I'm using are mixed with my regular pouring medium, Liquitex, pouring medium, Floetrol water, and a little bit of Golden GAC 800. Um, and they're mixed one part paint to two. Um, I always I always start out with one part um, uh, paint to one part pouring medium and then go from there. Because each paint and each um, brand uh, differs, like if you have a craft paint compared to a heavy body. So for these, I think it was one part paint to two or two and a half parts pouring medium. And everybody likes theirs different, so you gotta have it, you have to experiment. All right, guys, here we go.
Alright guys, here we go with the wet photos and you can see it turned out super, super awesome. I love the way these colors blended. I did get some nice cloud effect. I did have to uh, dump quite a bit off because I was trying to save those other colors. I got some purple and some orange and some green, so I'm really, really happy with how this looks so far. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you got anything out of my video today and you're so inclined, give that super thanks button some love. I really, really do appreciate it. It does help keep my channel going. All right, guys, if you are interested in any acrylic pouring tools, go ahead and check out my Etsy shop as well. And I will be showing you this painting dry in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.